So um, I'm Melissa O'Brien, I'm a registered dietitian. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for um, Prep Ahead Breakfast Ideas. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen um, quickly so we can talk through some ideas regarding breakfast. So if you've joined either of the other Prep Ahead um, sessions that we've done the last two weeks, just starting out again, reminding you of the benefits of meal prep. So the first benefit is that it saves lots of time. Um, the great thing about prepping ahead for breakfast is that, um, you know, morning time is oftentimes a very busy and frantic time of the day if we're getting ready for work, getting the kids ready for school or camp or the babysitters in the summer. Um, so having things prepped ahead either um, for ourselves and or for our kids um, is a great way to save time in the morning. <clears throat> it also saves money. So <clears throat> Excuse me. So instead of needing to drive through the, um, you know, a fast food restaurant or pick something up um, that we haven't budgeted, it's just a great way to plan ahead and um, not be spending extra money on food that we don't necessarily need to. Next is portion control. So helps us um, keep things uh, portioned in a healthy and nutritious way. Um, oftentimes, if we're going out for fast food or we're, um, you know, stopping at a restaurant to get breakfast, those portions are going to be larger than what uh, would be typically recommended. And also, uh, we typically wouldn't be getting in high portions of those foods that we want more of, such as fruits and vegetables. So really helping us get the portions we want of the nutritious foods and, um, you know, keeping the other portions um, in perspective. And then lastly, prepping ahead lowers stress. So if we're saving time and we're saving money, we're going to have less stress, uh, makes morning time easier. If we know what we're going to have for breakfast and it's all ready to go, we're not running out the door thinking about what we might be eating to start the day. So we oftentimes hear the benefits of breakfast, but sometimes we forget or we only think about the benefits for kids because we hear so much around um, how important it is for kids to have breakfast. Um, but it's really important for adults to include breakfast in their day as well. So the first thing is that it gives us energy. Um, you know, when we wake up in the morning, if we're getting ready for work or we're getting ready to exercise or if we're just trying to make it through the day, um, breakfast gives us that energy to get started and kind of get going and make it through that morning. It also sets us up to get all those essential vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we want. So if we skip breakfast, we're kind of already falling behind in getting in those nutrients, um, those vitamins and minerals that we really want to um, make sure that we get in throughout the day. So it really sets us, sets us up for a success in getting um, everything we want in if we start with a really nutritious, well-balanced breakfast. Sometimes we think we should cut meals if we want to lose weight, but in reality, having breakfast um, can actually help us control our weight. We're less likely to then overdo it on snacks or a larger lunch if we actually get those nutrients in at breakfast time and start the day off feeling satisfied. We hear this all the time for kids, but breakfast, you know, boosts our brain power. So if we're going to work or if we're just trying to make it through the day with our kids, you know, we need all the brain power we can get. So um, having breakfast really um, provides our brain with what it needs um, to think clearly, to concentrate, and to really get the work done that we need to. Having breakfast can help reduce the risk of illness. So again, getting in those essential vitamins and minerals and nutrients, helping control our insulin, which in turn, help, in turn helps with diabetes, um, controlling uh, for heart health. So really reducing our risk of illness by getting in a healthy breakfast. And then when we make nutritious choices at breakfast and get 
um, a healthy start to our day, we're more likely to make better food choices throughout the day. So um, it kind of sets us up for success, not only by giving us energy and boosting our brain power, but we're more likely then to also make really nutritious food choices as we continue throughout our day if we have breakfast. So, oh, I'm sorry, this slide says tips for healthy snacking, but this is actually tips for a healthy breakfast. Um, so the first thing is to keep it well-rounded. Again, aiming to include fruit, vegetables, protein, whole grains, and dairy. We might not include each of these in every single breakfast, but trying our best to kind of, um, when we're considering what we're going to prep ahead or what we're gonna throw together for breakfast, trying to consider these main um, <clears throat> categories and filling or checking the boxes for as many of them as we can. As we look at our prep ahead ideas, um, you'll see that we're, we're trying to include as many of these items as we can, even as we prep ahead. Um, go for whole grain. So including whole grain breakfast options provides lots of nutrients and vitamins. It really gives us a nice filling start to our day. Um, so uh, whole grains also provide a lot of energy. Um, so, you know, as we're thinking about starting our day at work or starting our exercise or just, you know, getting out the door with our kids, um, including those whole grains can be very helpful. Making sure that we include protein in our breakfast can help us feel fuller longer and can help us prevent overeating throughout the day. So really concentrating on getting that protein in just like we do for breakfast or for lunch and dinner. Um, really considering our protein source for breakfast as well. And we'll talk about some of these protein ideas as we look at our prep ahead um, recipes. And then adding in fiber, again, helps us feel full, um, can promote healthy digestion, can also help lower cholesterol. So trying to add in fiber um, by using whole grains, by using our fruits and vegetables. Um, we'll talk about some other ideas of some additions you can make to add in some fiber, but um, concentrating on getting that fiber in is similar to protein in that it helps us feel full. Um, and then, you know, can also have those added benefits of digestion and helping lower cholesterol. So these are great for um, ideas to keep in mind for your kids also, um, to keep them feeling satisfied, less snacking, less trips to the cabinet or the refrigerator throughout the day now that they're home from school, um, and just really setting them up for a great healthy day. So our first uh, recipe or bowl idea is um, a savory one. And so um, it's gonna include vegetables and eggs. And the great thing about doing bowls, um, especially you know, for any meal, but for breakfast especially, is that you can customize these to include um, your favorite foods or your favorite combinations. So we'll definitely provide these recipes, um, but keep in mind that you can always adjust them in ways that you see fit for your favorites. I also wanted to show you um, these uh, containers. Um, I found these at Walmart. They're really great because they have two separate um, compartments and they come with lids. Um, so they're great for prepping ahead. I also like them because sometimes you don't want to combine everything on one side and um, if you want something to stay crunchy or not mix it in right away or be able to remove it to warm it up. So these are great. Like I said, found them at Walmart. Two separate containers. They come in a large pack, so they're really great for um, prep ahead or for leftovers. Um, I use them a lot for leftovers at home also. So the first thing that we're going, we're going to make is a um, breakfast bowl. It's spinach, mushroom, and feta breakfast meal prep. Um, so what I've already done is sauteed together um, mushrooms, spinach, and cherry tomatoes. Um, when I saute, I like to use a spray, either olive oil or canola oil. 
Uh, this really helps us control the servings or the amount that we use. Um, sometimes we can be a little heavy handed if we're pouring in olive oil or canola oil. So using the spray really helps control the amount because we oftentimes don't need as much as we use if we're pouring it in. So uh, using spinach really gives us tons of nutrients, gives us some fiber, a little bit of protein. Same with those mushrooms, nice and filling, a great way to get in a lot of nutrients and a way to get in vegetables in the morning. Sometimes we um, kind of just think that um, vegetables don't fit into our breakfast, so we kind of forget about those in the morning. But if we can get some servings of vegetables and in the morning, we're off to a great start. Our recipe calls for two cups of spinach and it really cooks down. So it seems like a lot at first, but it's a great way to really pack in a lot of nutrients. So saute together a container of mushrooms, um, two cups or two big handfuls of spinach, um, some cherry tomatoes cut in half and some garlic. And so once that's all sauteed together, um, you can just kind of split it up in between about four different um, uh, prep ahead meal bowls, however you want to kind of um, break it up. Then you can, um, if you want to do ahead of time, you can cut up an avocado and put that in there. Um, avocado is great for getting in that healthy fat. Um, also lots of nutrients in these avocados. Um, I'm gonna hold off and wait to cut mine up in the morning when I add it to my bowl um, because I don't want it to turn brown, but um, you can do it ahead of time if you like. And then you can also sprinkle some feta cheese on top of these. Um, or whatever cheese you choose. If you like a different cheese better, you can sprinkle that on top. And then what I've done is in the other half of the bowl, um, I've done some hard boiled eggs. So I did these separately so that I can easily take the, the hard boiled eggs out and warm up my spinach, tomato, mushroom mixture um, separately. And then, you know, then include my hard boiled egg. You can do any type of egg you like, if you like a soft boiled, if you like scrambled, you know, whichever egg you wanna do and kind of put on the side there to have available, it's totally up to you. Then I'll probably pair this with a piece of whole grain toast or a whole wheat English muffin um, to make it a really nice, complete breakfast that includes lots of nutrients, serving of vegetables, I'll have my whole grain, I'll have my protein from my eggs, and um, healthy fat by adding my avocado. Keep in mind, again, you can do any sort of combination you like. Um, I'll send Carly the recipes, um, which and then I can go ahead and just put it into this side of my container here. Pour it right in there. And then just like I did with my overnight oats, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some toppings on the side. Um, so I have them to add to my smoothie bowl uh, to top it with in the morning. So um, I'm gonna do some blueberries, kind of like a peanut butter and jelly. Um, type of bowl. You can also add whatever nuts you like, um, you know, anything that you would want to add in the morning. Um, additionally, I'll send this um, smoothie bowl recipe along with some other combinations that you might enjoy. Um, but again, you know, using that frozen fruit, um, anything that you um, pick up from the grocery store or freeze on your own is just um, as nutritious as the fresh. So a great way to get in some fruits in the morning. You can also add spinach or kale if you like to, um, to get in that serving of vegetables in your smoothie bowl as well. Um, it's a great way to kind of get the kids to eat some veggies in the morning. Um, but again, trying to just incorporate as many components as we can, our fruits, vegetables, protein, whole grains, and some dairy is a great start to your day. Um, so I'll be sure to include or send all these recipes over to Carly. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm happy to take any more questions anyone has. Um, if not, enjoy this great weather and... Um, We'll see you all soon.